Sivas Parkham. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, on the last day of May 2024, actually, the revision of today is named Crushed, and that's really what happened to one of us. Um, well, on this channel, what are we going to do? We show you the amazing board game Tribune. It's a tactical board game for two players where you try to bring down the enemy opponent's leader, the Tribune. And uh, therefore you have uh, 35 soldiers at your mercy and you try to bring them in the right shape so you can deliver uh, Yeah, next is how we call it. Uh, yesterday we met um, uh, Johannes and uh, he is really excited about our game and we like to play with him. We'll definitely play more in the future and well, maybe this is the beginning of the Tribune era. <laughs> okay, I would say uh, let's jump into the board view and turning on some music and going for war. Yeah, so I initiated as per usual with uh, a few riders, but you blocked the center. Yeah, and I gave up my defense. This is what you have to keep in mind. These two Sagittari are very, very important for your defense. And they should maintain their position. I replaced it with a rider and this is a nice guy, but he's not capable of some move. Moves. <coughs> and you. My... My uh, big picture idea was to secure these four diagonals and just lurk in the shadows and wait for an opportunity. Um, but you quickly stopped all of that uh, by means of obstructing my view here. And um, this is very much uh, sufficiently defended. And this is still an open question, but um, I'm basically not able to open this up. Mm. I would need to defend myself first, uh, for it is only defended by two, and uh, it would be attacked by four, so that wouldn't be good. But having those four riders here at your hand is a significant sign of belligerence, my friend. I, I just... I'm a delivery guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and you are no, oh, you are up to no good. See, now you have on every color at least one rider, and the white hexagons where my tribune is positioned is, uh, well, you're going for this crisscross. You can only deliver if you can, uh, you know, reach if I order board some board, and uh, if you have pieces that only operate on one color, uh, then you obviously need uh, however many colors there are uh, pieces. And so, you know. So we need more colors on the board. Some yeah, rainbow so stuff. The idea of this is a quite common tactic. You create a symmetry, but you also have backup. So you threaten to take something uh, uh, entirely, yeah. and so and of higher value. Yeah, and so the idea is that this piece essentially guards your uh, creation of, in this case, an archer. Mm. And but this way you force it to move away, and then you can create an archer. <laughs> yeah. And now I have this plug here. It's plugging you in a way, but it's 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 a li liability. I have to keep out watching for this guy, and this is unpleasant. So my development is quite easily hampered. Yeah, and so the reason I didn't uh, create uh, uh, go through with the plan was. Now that you blocked yourself, I could free myself, and now I uh, these are very beautiful horses staring down the whole board. 
and that's mm. very nice. Yeah, so I created some counterplay going for the hunting season. Here my archer is trying to distract your rider a little, but you have a lot of opportunities. Even this... I mean... It's seldom to have a centuri on the board. From move, I don't know, 7 or 8 or what? Yeah, the <clears throat> essential idea is you threaten to take but that's not your idea. Your idea is you want this one to go away and then you might, uh, you know, walk forward, decombine again. Let's see what happens in the game. Oh, <laughs> heavy ordnance, my friend. Yeah, so essentially I was threatened and I answered uh, by means of moving the attacked unit away and merging it into a uh, ballista and now I have one way to go down this file and this is still an opportunity to uh, decombine so that's quite nice yeah Yeah, I created some kind of a symmetry here, but maybe it's not just a symmetry, it's a symmetry. Because you just step close. And what am I about to do against this? I mean, everything on the white hexagons is stable so far, but the other colors are blank. Yeah, and, and not only that, we're also uh, this game was played under heavy clock pressure, uh, and <laughs> till mm -hmm. toward the end it became it became a very frantic shuffling. But uh, <laughs> so essentially, what I try to do here is to move somewhere where it is definitely a threat, and you have to think about it. Uh, that way, you drain your time. Let's yeah, see, that... uh, two thirty-two, and then two zeros but up until this point i somehow managed to make dump moves very quickly <laughs> that's true but <laughs> see, you lost 30 seconds and i'm not quite aware of the uh, clock timing but uh, um i'm in the additional the increment um, yeah and the i guess it was it was a hmm Ah, uh, let's check. I, I'm. You can talk a little, and I, and maybe I, get it. So what I did then is I got rid of my two uh, uh, slaves here on the side, uh, for I didn't uh, like them to be here, and this way they might come in handy in the future. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, perhaps combining here would have been better um but uh, we will see what happens uh and essentially this gives like an opportunity to um to come uh, to basically uh get in to my position i really didn't like this so i moved away and Which... i just found out that uh, the timestamps and in the files are the old versions so it doesn't correspond to what we have nowadays on these dice. Um, <laughs> I cannot really say what it is, but usually uh, it was, I, I guess it was the first game we played. And this was a 2 plus 10. Yeah, 2, two in the tank, 10 seconds to think, and 5 or 10 increment as quite so heavy essentially pressure. You've thought 45 seconds about the move yeah and if uh, essentially two minutes is your whole time 45 minutes uh, se se minutes seconds is a lot yeah it's a lot which uh, you know <laughs> you also have a clock and you must be aware for it might be the most powerful uh, threat you can pose uh, unless you're playing without a clock, which in which case you know, 
can't utilize it, but... <laughs> I, I try to get some counterplay here, but really... I mean, if you react in the correct way, there is nothing. Yup. And now what? I was supposed to stop on on these gray hexagons, but by combining away, you opened it up, so I had to walk through to the dark hexagons, and this was more than sufficiently defended. Uh, now my ballista is stuck, and all of a sudden, I'm the one who's in deep trouble now. And so, it's very annoying here to play, as these two units essentially only leave this hexagon for an escape. Uh, you'd, I don't think you would want to decombine here, uh, as your units would be basically useless on the edge of the board, which would be terrible. Um, Yeah, and so I did this, defense, but also offense. So um, and, and maybe take take a step back. Why did I move here? Oh, one one more. Um, I was even contemplating maybe taking the ballista here, going for a huge attack, pinning this dude in a way because if you attack, two remain. And with the assistance of this ballista, I can take you entirely, so it's just an exchange. And I would lose maybe two pieces, but I would be fine. It would be all right, because I would still pin you, but you could now boldly step here. You could take this dude, because he's defended by four pieces, but this would just turn you into an Equus, and the Equus would attack me, so I would be dead. Could just take with two and then I would only have a ballista. Yeah, then I, yeah, and then you take here and it's even worse now six dudes in the neighborhood and up to no good. Well, that's not a good decision. So I had to go defense, right? I, but this was not the best way to deliver the defense, I guess. Yeah, it's, But it wasn't horrible. Uh, at the time, I uh, you I should have taken this, but um, I didn't see it at the time. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's essentially, if I take here, there's like a little bit of a trade going on. So I actually think it's also a great move not to take. If I would have taken there, the color of this. Uh, unit would just have changed and I would have to move and I don't think that's a very nice position Yeah, but you had f eight pieces so close yeah, I guess I there is something. Yeah, I take two and then what? Six pieces. Well, let's let's go through it Yeah, yeah right. let's dig a li little deeper in this and now take you two take. and now uh, right question. You uh, need can a I, double. Can I, may, may I? May I? Uh, something about this, and maybe, yeah, maybe bring you forward. Uh, I don't know, but there could be something because if you move, yeah, then. But I lure you here into this, and here here could be something. Oh, actually, I found something really savage. If you think you can combine here, then you could go for this attack, like this. And that's brutal. Yeah, because, you see, the right flank is completely blocked and all the other fields are covered and there is the so attack you, need, you can you block to... can bring something in between maybe but then and just the equus rushes through and and you're forced to combine to an equus or a ballista and that's even worse in the long run you won't make it yeah but uh, so 
that's essentially... Well, maybe this would have been a good option, after all, but I went for this as, as we had not a lot of time, so... Um, <laughs> you had almost a minute and a half, and I had seconds! Just seconds! And so now I established another thread. You need it uh, to move. Yeah. And by the way, now you know it's increment 5 seconds. It cannot be 10. Otherwise, there would be no possibility to have 7 seconds on the clock, right? I, I would have been to minus 3 beforehand. Yeah. Yeah, you said uh, increment by 5 and uh, think time uh, 10. Mm -hmm. I wasn't sure if it is really... But yeah, yeah. Anyhow, another savage move. Like, okay. You, it can take one, and then there is this, this Sagittarius destroying my Equus. Yeah. Now I didn't think about this move, but thankfully, this is, uh, this actually was worse uh, <laughs> than doing nothing. Yeah. As. Now I step closer and you cannot take me. Even worse, you cannot even combine uh, as I have all those hexagons covered. Yeah. But what made me really frustrated, and you will see me lose all my time uh, in a bit. Well, let's repair the board. Yeah. So I now... could not... No way. <laughs> Which yeah. was so... I felt so stupid. Um, the purpose of my move was to take away uh, space from your unit so you, that you cannot split in a correct way. But you chop down everything. And so I took, and now you could take two, but you didn't. You actually blocked my, um, my thread there. Uh, which is nice, as it provides you another hexagon to go to. <laughs> and I was running out of options. Um, yeah, but the grey hexagons are not attacked, so you could attack me? Yeah, so I was basically... Uh, yeah, m maybe something is... Yeah, you, I could have gone uh, yeah. for something like this. Um, yeah, probably. But I didn't see that, you know? Uh, and I was struggling <laughs> a lot. And so I then my mind thought about what I could do. Yeah, take a look at the time. You lost your first 30 seconds in one move. And so what I did is I forced you away from your uh, your only escape and I forced you to take this one so that you don't have any uh, shenanigans and I took and only move and so then I thought again you know what can I do uh, and I did not find anything <laughs> chopping so down is a good decision yeah, so this was basically the only move that was somewhat sensible, uh, as I t took away a defender of yours. Um, mm. You obviously retook. Yeah, uh, but when you run out of of soldiers, you cannot deliver a next, right? So this is yeah. my chance to go to before. And... Uh, I was running out of options. Uh, so I took there. Uh, I had no way of uh, getting anything worth mentioning, and so I basically thought, well, if I have to do something, I will gain space. And, and so now I don't know, I should have taken this dude here. Accompanied by the tuba list, I just take it with the with the status, just with the status, oh. chopping down attackers. But I did not see. 
Island for a sneaky, hey, you cannot retake because I would be an Equus and kill you. Uh, but I leave my Tribune butt naked at home. And so this is a very cruel finishing. As you cannot run back. These are covered by these two. Yeah, but I could take here. I exactly. could have taken, but I did not. So I, I died in the sword or in, in the arrow storm. That's true, but uh, even yeah. taking would not yeah, have been... Show, show the way. If I had found this move... You just drop back and win. Yeah. As you can only harm this one. So you can either knock off one and just stay there hmm. uh, in the line of sight, or you can take either one of these, <laughs> be taken, and you can run away and be taken by one of those. Like a gigantic robot claw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The force is so, smashing the Tribune. That's why we called it crushed, right? Yeah. I got completely oh. destroyed. This is a nice ending. Uh... I feel somewhat sorry that I did not grant you to deliver this next. It is a beautiful one, really. And see, this is so vicious about it. You can, if you could have gone for a combination on this field, maybe the world had been fine. But if you attack, you cannot combine. So... Yeah. It's forcing you to take something yeah. which can be really strong. And I have to admit, under time trouble, finding this sequence... Thanks. Chapeau. This is really... And now you were well, down on the clock. Up. Like, if you look at it, uh, there's literally nothing else I can basically go for. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So I kind of had to find this. And it's nice. By this sacrifice sequence, you were down on material. But you brought an axe. Yeah, a, that's a beautiful the one. Thing. Yeah. Okay. I would say enough said and done. And any last words from your side? Uh, yeah, so we hope uh, you have had a great day and, uh, well, proceed to have a great day after this video. Uh, if you like this video or uh, uh, videos like, just uh, subscribe, share the video, li uh, yeah, like, you know, the, the basic gist. You know the drill, go down to the descriptions. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I in Discord popped up a German message and it, it kind of messed with my brain. Anyhow, um, so the thing is that uh, we wish you a wonderful day and a great time, and we'll say see you soon on Tribune.